the issue of foreigners being involved in small scale mining, much of it really depends on enforcement, supervision, and monitoring. Just because, and it's not different from several other sectors of our national life. It's just the question, as my honorable colleague rightly pointed out, that when the license is granted, there should be a framework or a mechanism for monitoring. The agency of state that is responsible for regulating mining in our country is the Minerals Commission. And the Minerals Commission has an inspectorate division. The speaker, uh, the state of the inspectorate division of the Minerals Commission uh, in recent times is, 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 uh, is indeed appalling. But we, thankfully, Mr. Speaker, just about two weeks or so ago, I commissioned 20 pickups four by four pickers for the Minerals Commission, uh, computers, blaster, the blaster monitors, and several other equipments which are necessary for the enforcement, monitoring, and supervision role of the Minerals Commission to be realized. So as we can, secondly and finally, there is a matter that I will report to the House which we are examining, which I believe ought to be examined because otherwise the question about foreigners being involved in small scale mining will continue to elude us, Mr. Speaker. If you look at Act 703, Mr. Speaker, and the requirement for small scale mining, the ingredients of small scale mining, 25 acres, an investment of so much, and the number of people who are to be involved so much, and so on and so forth. And then when you come to large scale mining, Mr. Speaker, large scale mining, the difference between small scale mining and large scale mining, in my view, is too wide. It's too wide because small scale mining essentially is artisanal mining. When you go to other African countries, Burkina, Mali, and the rest, what we call small scale mining here is artisanal mining. And the conceptual underpinnings of small scale mining was really that the people who have a pickaxe, shovel, and the rest to mine is what they, they conceived. But today, you have a, a, a different set of foreigners who want to participate in our mining industry, who cannot have the financial muscle to participate in the large scale mining. The 12 or so large scale mine where you need hundreds of millions of dollars, but are not also allowed to participate in small scale mining per the basic requirements of small scale mining. So, the question about whether or not we should go along the lines of other um, countries where they've introduced medium scale mining, for example, where they have minimum capital investments, and so we're examining all of those. But the direct answer to your question, uh, Mr. Speaker, is that enforcement for the time being, in the short term, but in the medium term, we have to examine the whole regime of small scale mining in our country.